I've increased my rainwater storage capacity and I've installed wireless rain gauges on each of the tanks. Here's how I did it. I was given an old water tank. I don't know if it leaks yet. I'm going to test it in situ. I chose a spot and rolled out some builder's plastic. I put crusher dust onto the plastic and then I rolled the tank into place. It only took a little bit of water to prove that the tank was leaking. I hoped it was just the inlet coupling, so I drilled out the rivets holding it in place, cleaned it up and put the coupling back on. It seems to have done the trick. I received an unexpected gift from Rain Harvesting. They've sent me three wireless rainwater tank gauges. I'm going to install these onto all the tanks. This is the display. On one side is a digital display and on the other side is an analogue. You set the red and green markers manually. Beside it is the receiver which gives a digital readout in litres or percentage full. This is the gauge installed on the white tank, installed on the red tank and installed on the silver tank. I can read all three displays from the containers. This is an update on our cold water filters. I installed 20 micron paper filters just after the water pump. The inside of the tank accumulates a certain level of debris and we've even got two or three frogs. The instructions recommend changing the filters every six months so I've changed them and this is what they look like. This video is covered in more detail in part two of the ebook. You can see the book in more detail at buildshippingcontainerhouse.com where you can purchase your own copy. Thanks for watching. For information on the ebook, go to buildshippingcontainerhouse.com. To follow our progress, subscribe on YouTube or you can follow us on containerhouse.wordpress.com.